So let's start to look how we can create a bar chart in React Chart.js. We're going to create a basic bar chart here like this. So let's start to create a bar chart in Chart.js or in React Chart.js. And what we're going to do here is build a functional component so we can reuse basically that bar chart multiple times. So to do this, first thing what we have to do here is to have a basic app. I have here a bar chart.js. So we will be using both of them. What I want to do here is first create a functional component so we can reuse this. And we have just now a blank template here. So to do this, I'm going to start working on it. I'm going to first import react. So I'm going to say react from react. So we're going to grab that. The next thing what I want to import is of course chart.js and uh, more specifically react chart.js too. So we say import and then what I want to grab here is the bar. And the reason why I want to grab the bar is I want to create a bar chart. So I only will select the bar features. So I'm going to say here and then we're going to grab it from react chart JS tool. Once we did that, we can start to import the items that we need. And what do we need to create a bar chart? So we're going to say here import. Then in here, I'm going to say first of all chart as chart JS. That's number one. Then what I want to do here is I need to get the bar element and the bar element draws the bar shapes comma. What I will need next is the category scale and that will allow us to create basically the X scale, which is based on a string value. The next one is the linear scale and that gives us the Y scale with the numbers on it. And then finally here or almost we have the tooltip. And finally the legend. So once I did that, I'm going to say all of these should come from our chart.js. So there we are. Since this is all as chart.js, it knows exactly where to extract everything from. Once we did that, we need to now register the imported components. So what I'm going to say here, chart.js, which is basically just the reference here as, and then we're going to say dot register to grab the items we need. And what I need to register is basically all of these above here. So we imported them and now we registered them so we can use the items in there. So once we did that, we can now start to work on creating the item. So what I want to do is basically create a bar chart where that we, uh, when we are in here, I'm going to make a div. And within this div here, we're going to say, very simple, basically the bar chart tag or functional component. Of course, if I do this right now, we get an error because we're not yet connected in any way or form. So to do that, we have to make here now our item. So we're going to say a constant bar chart. And this is our functional component where we're going to start with. We have no parameter, so we can skip that and work in order. Then we're going to put in here. So what do we want to do here? Well, we're going to put in here basically the data that we need for the bar chart. So that is the first one here. So what we will be having is the data. And then we also have the options if ever we want to assign options. Next, what I want to do is I want to make sure we return these values as well. So we're going to return the entire item here as basically what we call that. Well, we can say here return and we will make this what would be the HTML code that we're going to return, which is basically a div. And then of course in here, we're going to say here the bar. And then we have here the bar tag again, but here we're going to put in all of these values that we assign here, which would be the values of the, uh, the data, the colors and the options that we want to assign. So let's start to work on this. So if I want to say here for the bar, I'm going to give it a property and the property will be the data prop. And then this data prop will give us the data object that we don't have yet. Another thing we also have here is for the options, the options prop. And then we're going to put in here, basically the options object. So we're going to grab that now. So to do this, we're going to make now our constant 
this is data but this is our object and then in this object we're going to put in a few items number one we want to have labels and the labels will be uh, well let's say here Monday for example Tuesday we're just going to put in a few basic labels and then we say here Wednesday once we have that we want to put also in the data set very basic this is just standard chart yes so I'm going to say data sets here and then this is the first data set but we only have one so I will not go deeper than one for now and then in here what I'm going to do here is we have a label that would uh, will match with the data set so we can just say here for example sales comma then we can say here the data which would be the sales numbers which is an array let's say we have 33 66 and 99 comma and then we have maybe a color what kind of color we would like to give it let's say background color and I'm going to give this green for now let's save this make sure that we return all of these values and then we have to make sure that it is completely into this bar chart functional component so you can see here this is the part all right that's all connected and then we can just go down here and what I want to do now is to export this specific item so I'm going to say export default and I'm going to say here this will be the export default of our bar chart so then we're going to save that nothing happens yet because we need to now grab this and import it in here so it will start to recognize what we did so I'm going to say import and what are we going to import here is the uh, bar chart component functional component and what we want to do then is we're going to say here from where exactly the path dot slash bar chart and the reason why is because we are in the same folder located bar chart that's here so if I save this, oh, make sure we have a semicolon here, save. Now we got an error here, let's see here, module will unexpected token, all right. You can just see what's going on here on 37. So let's see here on 37. And then of course this should be a parentheses and not a curly braces. So my bad, I'm gonna save that, there we are. All right, options is not defined on 38 options equals options and we don't have options which is really bad so we're going to say here constant options equals like that i just keep it blank there we are so now it works so we have to make sure that it will work all and we have all these items if you don't have an option you can remove this basically this prop however we will be adding options in here so what we could do now we have this working we have a functional component working as well. To truly test this, we could say, can we add up here another bar chart? If it save that, you'll see here now we have two bar charts, but of course they're identical because the data that we have is just static data. So what I want to do now is just remove this. I want to give this maybe some additional styling for now. So it has a bit of a, a padding, etc., etc. So we're going to say style equals and then we're going to just put it in here double curly braces and then in here we can say uh, padding maybe 100 pixels and then what we have more is the width will be equal to 80 percent so it's not too big and have enough space around it save that and there we are that looks all quite nice so what we want to do now is just to change some of the colors and just play around with some of these basic features. What we could do, for example, here, say border width, to assign a border width, and let's give it five pixels. And then we're going to say here border color, and that will be black. By doing that, save, you can see here now we get the border width, nicely thick and a black color. So for the options, what we could do as well as, for example, is what if we would like to have a title? So in Chart.js, you can just add up a title quite simple by saying plugins. And then within the plugins, in here, we can say here title. And then we can do here uh, display set to true. Then we could say what is the text or we can now assign the text. You can say a sales um data 
from store one. If I save this, refresh, you don't see anything happening. The reason why it doesn't happen is, if we go up here, just look at this, what are the items we imported and what did we register? Right now we didn't register the title component. So what we have to do here is if I say import the title, make sure we say here is capital T, I'm going to copy that. Then of course we need to register it as well. Save this and you can see here now we get the title. If I do not have this one, you will see it will not respond anymore. So make sure you import and then register these items here and now we have a title in here.